Lumber King's experience has changed coming into the season, and this is all part of the bigger picture. The transformation of the Glaston Upper Concourse into a VIP area has ruffled a few feathers when it comes to longtime fans, and one aspect is the bar access. At Council, a few comments were made about possibly adding a new bar or getting a liquor license for the whole arena. The mayor says more information has to be gathered before any decision can be made. There's only a certain section of the PMC that can be used for alcohol. So when the discussion in Council came up, one of the questions was, well, what about getting permission to have the full arena under the regulation? So what we've done is we've said to staff, well, can you go back and, and take a look at that? And number one, look at the cost. What, what would be the security issues? Does it help everyone? Does it solve the main issue by having the full arena, you know, where we're able to consume alcohol? The team has been working on improving the game day experience by creating sponsorship zones and VIP areas. But most fans want to talk about the low attendance. The liquor license might help that. Sandra says the Kings are doing well when it comes to a bottom line and the Kings are playing strong. Yes. There's no avoiding it. The attendance has been lower than last year. It uh, was on a serious decline previous to that. Um, we're feeling, we're, we're not worried. Honestly, we're not worried. Um, it's very trackable and traceable as to why we would have low attendance. But Bogey's Bar got caught in the mill when it came to creating the VIP zone. And due to tight restrictions, it couldn't be moved. But a satellite bar was announced this week to be placed on the other end of the pavilion. And it's accessible to all the patrons at the game. And Council will continue to tackle the idea of making the entire arena under one liquor license. Reporting for Coach Co News in Pembroke, I'm Trevor Riley.